Hello everyone and welcome back to the Asia Art Channel. My name is Ilkay Miyushma and today we have finally a painting again. And uh, today is quite a, a special painting because uh, as you may notice this is a uh, self-portrait with some elements and I will talk about it uh, more in a minute. But uh, this uh, painting was an uh, assignment that we had to make in a course that my husband, uh, or given by my husband. And uh, yeah, we had to make a... Um, a end piece of the, uh, on the end of the course uh, where we showed our very important elements of uh, for ourselves and um, yeah I will not go to uh, get into it too much but um, I th thought it would be nice to talk about a little bit more about the elements that you s are seeing here in a painting and why are they are there because uh, it may not make sense it's um, it's all, uh, all uh, little parts of uh, different things who are very important for me. So I thought I would do a little bit uh, of a, a short introduction of the painting itself. Well, of course, this is uh, the self-portrait. And I never did a self-portrait uh, before. I did a attempt to a portrait, but I stopped because, to be honest, uh, I found it kind of boring to paint myself or, or drawing myself. Um, I love drawing people, I love drawing animals, but not myself. So uh, I thought, uh, well, this is a kind of nice uh, uh, opportunity because uh, the course uh, and this assignment is all about myself. So I thought, well, it would be nice to include myself for, uh, quite um, obviously. So therefore I uh, choose a self-portrait. And I also uh, never tried a, uh, a pop art style or something very close to pop art. And so I did combine those two and um, I honestly have to say I really enjoyed making this uh, style of uh, portrait. So probably I will uh, do some more um, in, in, the, in the near future, maybe. But uh, I really enjoyed uh, painting them. And especially because um, when you are painting them and quite close to the canvas, um, it's not a very smooth portrait. But it makes sense, uh, it's very hard to describe because I don't have um, uh, worked out every detail as much as I uh, would do in a photorealistic portrait. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's, uh, it's very nice to uh, practice uh, some different styles once in a while and I think you can learn uh, a lot from that. So therefore I chose a uh, pop art style. And here you see a uh, eye of a horse. I hope it you can see it clear and otherwise it will be uh, in the end of this tutorial I have a picture and you can see it better. But this is the eye of uh, my Frisian horse and I, maybe you noticed, uh, maybe you saw the uh, video I uploaded uh, uh, next week. I will have a pop-up. Um, you will see my horse and uh, th this is one of her eyes and I painted her uh, of the, the horse eye um, because I uh, the horses are very, very important for me and also our Shetland pony. So therefore, uh, I painted this um, this eye of, a, of my horse. And I uh, painted a wolf in the background. Uh, it's more like a spiritual animal for me. So therefore, it's uh, a little bit further away. And um, yeah, I, I, uh, I like the spirit and the story behind wolves quite, quite a lot. So therefore, it's a, a wolf there. I have painted a butterfly. She does uh, remind me of the first course that I uh, have uh, taken um, with the same subject. This was the second course of the, the basically the same subject. And um, my husband described a butterfly uh, for me as a person. There was a whole story behind it, behind it. but therefore I painted in the butterfly. To, it's, it's sort of a reminder of the first time I took the course. Yeah, that's why the butterfly is in there. Here we have a hollyhock, and um, I'm almost out of the screen, but here is a hollyhock. And I, this one uh, flowered for us for the first time in our garden, and this particular color, and I'm really, really in love with this color. It's so beautiful. And I have to mention that hollyhocks are my favorite plants for outside. I, everywhere I go, everywhere I live, I need at least one hollyhock. I, I love them. And um, so therefore it had to be in uh, this painting, of course. Then you see here another flower, it's a argot. And um, maybe you notice, maybe you don't, uh, or you didn't. But I like to uh, combine um, my argots with my art sometimes to making uh, uh, photos. And if I don't forget, I will have a few photos uh, pop up now so of, uh, in the screen so you can see them. But it's another hobby. This is uh, my indoor, my house plants. This is way, way my favorite. 
are not especially this one but argets in general and it's, there's a whole family of argets. I have quite a lot but I don't have all of them and that wouldn't, that wouldn't, uh, that's not possible because there are so so many but I really really love uh, having my argets around me and uh, taking care of them. And of course the last elements, the both elements are a paintbrush and a uh, pencil. And that's because I uh, really like to uh, paint and draw, of course. But uh, if you are my channel uh, as you are now, you uh, wouldn't ha uh, would have guessed that uh, by now, I uh, I think. But uh, yeah, so therefore I um, put those in. And these elements are very important for my for for me, and uh, therefore it's a very personal uh, personal painting. And uh, I thought it would be nice to share uh, with you how I paint this. Uh, I will try uh, to talk about as much as I can about the techniques. But, but if, there, if there is anything that I didn't cover and you want to know more about, please uh, leave a uh, comment in the comment section below and I will come uh, back to it and maybe it will give me some ideas for a knowledge tutorial. So therefore, uh, leave it in the comment section and I, uh, like I said, I will get to it. For now, this is, uh, was the introduction. Here is the tutorial about uh, this painting. And as usual, I uh, start out with a uh, one uh, plain color for the background. In this case, it was uh, a black. I think I put a little bit of purple uh, within that black just to make it a little bit richer. And I ho had to do a few layers to get it uh, nice and even. And I really like uh, black and also that uh, red, uh, dark red color you see uh, on my. Uh, channel um, and also on my website and also in these kind of flowers these two uh, colors are, are my favorite so therefore i like to combine them uh, quite often and um, also for this painting because it's a very personal painting as you uh, know by now so therefore i thought it would be nice to start out with a nice rich black color and from there i start in putting in the elements and first element is uh, is myself and it's kind of funny <laughs> because i never painted myself before and like i said in the intro it's not that i don't want it but it's, it's kind of boring i like to uh, paint some subject that i uh, can sell and where i have um which is nicer to to watch it uh, as, as well and here you have uh, you see a different background that's because i uh, kept this uh, painting uh, a secret for a while for my husband and he likes to join me uh, when we drink coffee in uh, in the studio so therefore i had to uh, turn the easel around so so he can couldn't uh, see what i was painting but here i'm just blocking in the first part uh, of this pop art style and as you may know i don't have much lines on my paintings i normally don't have that as well i just have a few basic lines but for this i uh, think i have even uh, less lines to indicate where what should go because there are just different parts of the painting and they are quite strong strongly visible if i can say it like that there's, there's not much work done in smoothing things out or making nice transitions. It's all about the hard, harsh lines and still you need to be able to see what you are painting. Or in this case it's a portrait so you need to see who this person is. But you will stay uh, uh, painting uh, only the, yeah, the harsh lines I should say. It's really really nice. I personally enjoyed it very much so probably I will uh, paint it uh, this style and more. I don't know if I would like it on animals that much because I really like animals and I really like their um, fur or their feathers so I yeah I don't think it's uh, it, it's going to be a nicer painting if I uh, painted those in the pop art style but for a portrait it's very very nice to uh, to paint in this style. And the main focus in this is uh, obviously the different uh, parts, the different uh, sections of the painting in the face, but also the darks and the lights. Once again, those are quite strong and I personally uh, really like it. You can adjust it, uh, of course, and if you have a bit trouble in deciding how light or how dark you should go, you probably want to uh, um, upload a picture in Photoshop and uh, try to um, yeah, mess a little bit uh, with these settings and see which uh, setting you like uh, the best to give you a uh, nice um, nice photo to watch when you are starting to paint. And in the meanwhile, I am started on uh, painting in the wolf. And to be honest, I'm just blocking in uh, once again some details of the fur, but because this wolf is a very um, 
put back in the background and I wanted to stay it in the background I'm not going too crazy about the details and you will later on see me using the airbrush because uh, when I'm painting in uh, the paint with a paintbrush the uh, lines are a bit harder and thereby the details are a bit uh, too harsh for this uh, too, too hard for this painting too rough I uh, could say and so therefore I like to use the uh, airbrush and uh, glaze over it um, with the airbrush over those details and you have quite a lot of control on how much you want those details to be put in the background and I think you only um, th this only makes sense I think when you're using the airbrush because you can uh, then feel it and see it what the airbrush will do with this underpainting and it's really really nice and it, it was really helpful for me to get the wolf in, the, in basically in the right position and there are some hints of color there so I put those in as well and once again I uh, if they are a little bit too bright that's okay because I'm going to uh, layer over it uh, later on so therefore I uh, have it a put in a little bit brighter than I wanted because if I start it too dark you can imagine if you put one layer over it and I'm starting now with the airbrush you see what the airbrush does it, it pulls it um, back in the background quite quickly so you can imagine if I had used not as bright colors as I did there would, was basically nothing uh, to watch anymore because uh, I use quite a, a strong dark color and um, yeah that helped me very well to get uh, make those details smoother and then I came back with the airbrush and uh, for the uh, lighter portions and once again I'm painting in a few more lighter portions to uh, yeah, get the indication of fur a little bit more but a soft fur so therefore I uh, uh, the airbrush was a very a uh, handy tool because it's uh, you can make uh, quite soft transitions and uh, soft fur. And now I'm just blocking in the uh, butterfly. At this stage, I'm not really uh, thinking about the colors yet. I just want to um, have some nice undertone, some nice under colors where I can glaze over. And here you uh, see me already uh, starting with those exact colors, more exact colors. And I'm using quite a lot of white and then glazing over with the yellow and the orange because otherwise you can uh, hardly see the yellow because it's uh, very translucent and also the orange is very translucent. So therefore I like to put a little bit of white paint underneath uh, those colors. And I think it's a bit different in the different brands of paint. I'm using the uh, Lucatex Basics. Those are quite, uh, quite translucent, at least those colors. Here, once again, I'm starting out a little bit lighter and then I'm glazing over my colors and come back for the details a little bit more. To let us stand out the portraits, uh, portraits uh, more, I use a very strong white line and that uh, makes it more pop art style as well, I think. And here you see me in putting in a few details. I'm not exactly uh, as uh, close as in the reference picture but I just give the indications of uh, details because it's uh, quite a little flower but there must be uh, quite a uh, different variation otherwise it will not look uh, as realistic as I wanted it but uh, yeah and uh, lots of layers also in those little flowers I use a lot of layers of different colors and um, that makes it more uh, yeah realistic and also the colors uh, work very well together like in this, uh, for uh, for example, in this flower, you see, I I use completely different colors than they will show up in the end piece because I need to uh, I want to glaze. So therefore, uh, if I started out with the exact right color right away, I wasn't able to glaze because I uh, yeah I already used the uh, the end color. So therefore, I like to uh, build up, and I think the details are uh, getting more realistic. Uh, by every layer basically because they are quite harsh in the beginning but with every layer they are softening out more and more and here i'm working on the stem and the butts of the uh, hollyhock and i'm just just not painting in too much detail too much detail wouldn't be um in place i think because it's going uh, towards the backward uh, uh, backward the <laughs> background the the um uh, the, the base of the flower I, should, I could say the, the stem of the flower I'm sorry and uh, so therefore uh, you cannot see as many details it needs to go backwards and also like the horse eye I just want the indication of the horse eye uh, I 
didn't want it to be too strong so therefore i'm using uh, quite dark colors and building up slowly i want some texture in the main and some texture uh, around the eye and in the eye but i'm just slowly building up because um yeah it needs to be there but not too strong otherwise it would uh, draw too many uh, too much attention and i need uh, attention first of all on the self portrait and i think also the eyes of the wall are uh, uh capture uh, cap yeah capture some eyes from the viewers i think and so therefore uh, that's my main subject and then you go around and see what's more in the painting and in the meanwhile i just started painting in the uh, paintbrush and also the pencil and i did include a little bit more of the blues and the purples just to let it stand out a little bit more that's just a personal taste that i liked and especially in this painting because it's quite uh, yeah quite quite a rougher because of the pop art style and i f i thought it would be nice to uh, indicate a little bit more uh, uh yeah light portions um and shiny portions and therefore i like to use a, a, a light blue color and also a uh, light purple just the uh, it depends on the subject and the colors i have been using but uh, for this painting i use quite a lot of uh, a light purple a uh, lila I, I hope I pronounce it uh, right colors and sometimes I put in a little bit of blue with a purple as well and you can make uh, quite some uh, nice uh, different colors in the purple and blue ranges and now I'm just coming back for the last details and at this section of the painting I like to uh, watch my painting quite often from a distance it's uh, way easier to uh, then to uh, decide where what uh, uh, which parts should need a little bit more attention and where we need a little bit more highlights or stand it, uh, let it stand out a little bit more and here is the uh, picture of the end painting i hope you liked it it's just uh, a personal painting like i said and just put it in the subject that i would uh, like to talk about in the course that i uh, have been taken and so therefore I didn't re think about it too much, I just wanted to have those elements in a painting. Well I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this tutorial and uh, I hope I can um, did a good job in explaining the different techniques. Uh, once again this was the first time that I did, uh, did I did, I did this pop art style, but uh, like I said in the intro I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, doing uh, painting this way so I probably will do a little more about um, in this style but um, yeah like always if you have any questions just leave, leave, please leave them in the comment section below and I just have to say it's really really nice to be back in my studio again and uh, it's uh, it looks like my schedule is uh, is allowing me more art time so I will probably yeah probably will make uh, more art tutorials and uh, painting um, and uh, making more paintings and drawings so uh, i hope to uh, see you at uh, one of my next tutorials and currently i'm working on a, a very new painting so that will be up in i think uh, maybe a week or two weeks um yeah that's all for now thank you for watching if you are uh, not did it but uh, if you want to please subscribe to my channel if you already did that thank you for being with me and uh, i hope to see you soon bye bye